Hello everyone, my name is Oprah Coco, that Nigeria Christian girl. If this is your first time seeing me, thank you for clicking on this video. And to my golden oldies, you know, support system, support fam. Thank you again for tuning in and clicking on this video. I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful. You guys know <laughs> I always got you covered. Let's get into the video. the next question is so the sister or the lady has accepted the gentleman mm -hmm. so what do they do when they go on dates like what do people what are people meant to do when they go on dates and in this con context i'm talking about like christian young people when they want to go out or is it that they shouldn't go out because this question says what to do on a date whether you're a christian or not a christian once you decide to date someone and go on a date, we expect that you are ready to unveil yourself and know each other. So dating time is a time to um, know the other person. So we expect that during that time of dating, you will be um, asking relevant questions that should unveil the person to you because somewhere in your mind you're looking forward to the possibility of this person i'm about going out with is someone i may eventually settle down and you don't want to get married to a familiar stranger so it's in <laughs> familiar stranger <laughs> a lot of people are settling down with familiar wow. strangers so a lot of people don't know how to unveil because some people are super super uh, they have proficiency in feeling themselves. And some men are good at it. Women too do the same, you know. But So th that's why you should not be in a hurry to say I'm falling in love on first date. Do you really know the person? You know, so you need to ask the relevant questions. You need to go on a couple of dates. And that's called dating. To, mm -hmm. to Until you are satisfied that this person will have shared values. So when you go on, on a date or you're dating somebody, you are... Um, you are interfacing with that person to be able to ascertain if you have shared common values, mm -hmm. you know, and that means you have to ask questions. You you probably you know go whatever whatever you do, go on movies, go to the restaurants, go to a social gathering, church, or whatever. Just ensure that you are deliberately, consciously and unconsciously watching out to see if this person is truly a friend. Um, I can be proud of and I can spend the rest of my life with. Yes, so please, all for that date, make sure you're you know, conscious so that you don't end up with a familiar stranger. And don't be fooled by... Most people put their first their best food forward. Food forward. So yeah. the first date, it probably is not enough to know the person. So stop being fooled by physical packaging. A lot of us have a lot of things we put off, put up and and they make the makeup will deceive you, and you need a bit more time for the for you to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. And there are many dates that will bring that that out. So don't be too don't be in a hurry to make your judgment on the first date. Yeah. Wow, thank you, Papa Dean. No sex on the first date. Okay. No kissing. <laughs> so the next question here is how to break up. Hmm? People on Google are asking how to break up. Break up. Yes, they are done with the relationship. Yeah, that that's a sad one though. Um, I, but the the, the 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 reality is that sometimes you get into an in, a relationship with a good intention to devote, to be loyal, to especially ladies. You know, when they love, they love with their spirit, their soul sometimes with their body no, but. <laughs> <laughs> and but of course you only have control over yourself you really do not and even in relationship a, a lot of relationship don't a lot of people don't realize that you are not in somebody's life or somebody's space to condition that person to who you want the person to be mm -hmm. you are not a you are not there to do the work of the holy spirit for those who are people of faith so you are not supposed to be there to control the other person. So 
Um, so it's what eventually relationship will go bad because somebody will decide to do stuff that is against your own shared values. And once this is consistent and you're like, oh, I'm in the wrong relationship, whatever reason, whatever reason it is, my advice is that once you discover that this relationship is going nowhere, waste no time. Don't waste somebody's time. Find a very good time to meet, to ask for if you can meet physically. I would not advise people to break up over the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you truly don't know what's happening on the other side. We've had people who, who broke up with someone and the next day the person committed suicide. Or probably you said it at the time when the person is low or the person doing an exam or something. So it's always good. Of course, some people cannot see physically, so they don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. So, but do your best to ensure you see physically and make the make the time of breakup an, an acknowledgement of the, of the times of uh, the great moments you've had in the relationship. You know, and be very honest. Okay, so Papadi, the next question we have here is, when, the person said, when should I put the ring on it? Like, when should I propose, put the ring on the lady's finger? At what point in the relationship? Hey, now why are you <laughs> grinning in their presence? Papadi, <laughs> Whenever the ladies here put the ring, there's, there's that glow. You know, coming. <laughs> um, when should you put the ring? What do you think? Wow. What do I think? Ah. When I mean when you've gone through that dating process that you just talked about, when you're sure that both of you are on the same page, have similar values, you've gotten relevant information back to back. Yeah, I think that once you have convinced yourself that you have sufficient information to inform you of the past present and future of this individual and that you have interacted enough that you are looking forward to spend the end, the rest of your life with this person and I, I use my word carefully you have enough information and that is um, that is relative to the individual mm -hmm. you have to convince yourself and you really have to be honest because it's very it's not very easy to as i'm saying it because once you are in love mm, there are certain part of your brain wires that don't work again <laughs> and one of them is logical reasoning <laughs> so yeah that, let me be very frank with you so sometimes we do not think objectively and rational, rationally when we are in love so but it is it is advisable that you engage accountable relationship to help you making that informed decision and once you have captured everything you need to capture and you are convinced this is the person that i want to spend the rest of my life with i want to be committed to for the rest of my life come on get the ring and pop get the question pop the golden question <laughs> I get the golden answer. Avi, <laughs> thank you, sir. So the yeah. last question, yeah, apparently that people are asking on Google, is how do I make long distance relationship work? <laughs> Let me tell you straightforward. If you can avoid it, avoid it like a plague. But <laughs> I, I know that a real life. And because of certain peculiar circumstances and situations, some people will have to have distant relationship. It's all right. Um, but you, scripture tells me that if you want to build a house, you have to sit down and count the cost. If you want to go to a battle, you have to sit down and count the costs, whether you have enough. You have to make an evaluation of yourself, whether you have enough to build that house from start to finish and from the beginning of the battle till you win. So if um, if you have done that um, evaluation, what question am I asking? Um, how to make long distance relationships work. So if you decide to be in a long distance relationship, there are certain things you have to be prepared to engage. One of them is that you have to be ready to spend money for communication. 
you know, people know communication is important in any relationship. But, but for those of you who are distant, you have to spend a bit more in communication. You have to invest in technologies that at least bridges that gap. Not not just say, oh, well, what's happening? What's happening? Well, it's not enough. The There are people who are WhatsApping with... Um, with strangers, I mean, you are you are in a relationship with somebody you really don't know. Somebody can can design a personality for you, and people do it. Scam relationship, mm-hmm. and you'll be having conversations with the person. Meanwhile, you don't, you are not, you don't even know the person is a is a is a guy who is posing to be a babe who you are having interaction with. So, technology that makes you have real time communication video conferencing, live conferencing. You have to spend a lot of money in that regard. But whatever you do, before you settle down to marry this person, have some sufficient time, minimum a month of physical interaction. So wherever that person is across the globe, build the resources that will make you come and meet that person. So if that person is in America and Nigeria, travel to America and go and spend some time there. If the person is in America, let him come to Nigeria. <laughs> you need some measure of physical interaction. You need, a, there's a lot of things about communication that it's not enough on just social media. And because some of these things, you know, behind screens, there are a lot of things that we can form. There's a lot of planning and preparation to go on the screen. But real time engagement, eh, you, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things that you cannot hide. So please do your best to ensure you have that physical interaction before you settle down. Wow, wow! Yeah. Thank you, sir. Some will say, "Well, I don't have the money." Then you are not ready for marriage. Hey, table mm-hmm. broken. Exactly. Shut up. How, how can you say you are dating somebody in America and uh, you are the, the next physical meeting is we are coming to have a wedding? It doesn't make sense. Don't you think so? But anyway, some people are not really ready for real marriage. You just want to have fun and be Mr. and Mrs. somebody. So it's your choice. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you so much, Papa D. This was yeah. so insightful. I don't Pleasure. think Google would... Forgive me. <laughs> Google will forgive you. I don't think so because this is so detailed. Like okay. Google can never be able to break this down and just you know deliver a message. Yeah. Wow, thank you so much. It's Everybody, I don't know what was your favorite question that Papa D answered. Please drop it in the comment section. And would you like to see Papa D again? <laughs> Let me know, yes, because I personally would love, love, love to see Papa D. Papa D hosts Heart to Heart live on Digit 1024 Radio. Mm-hmm. If you are not listening to that show, what are you doing? I don't know. Where are you? Please, everything, all the info will be linked down below in the description box. Follow Papa D on Instagram. Papa D on five. Yep. On Facebook at Deolu Papadi Ogunubi, mm-hmm. at on Twitter at Papadi Twenty Twelve. Somebody has asked, why different handles? Synchronize everything. I just have one. Don't worry, we'll get there. We'll get I'm there. I'm looking forward to doing so. And a, a, the YouTube channel is also coming up. It's also I guess coming up. You we'll also get to Papadi TV. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I'm so so excited. Yeah. Wow, today has been so so awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this two part video. Mm-hmm. If you haven't watched the first one, I'll link it up. Do well to watch the first one. Give this video a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Share with your family and friends. Mm-hmm. Or people should not just get misinformed, you know, answers on Google. Yeah. Make sure you're hearing the truth because yeah. it's the truth that will set you free. Exactly. Make sure also to subscribe to this channel. Yep, for more amazing, amazing content. Till I see you next time, remember to remain the best version of yourself. God bless you. Bye. Bye-bye.